Greetings, friends. Apparently, Radical Retro Turtle Toy Talk number 50 went over pretty darn well, for which I thank you. I was unsure of what could possibly follow such a tubular turtle toy as the Technodrome and not come across as at least a little disappointing. Well, I decided to go with an aesthetically awesome artillery piece whose action feature falls flat but has a fun feel nonetheless. So let's take a look at the drain unclogging dueling device dubbed the Double Barreled Plunger Gun. The Double Barreled Plunger Gun is another small field weapon akin to the Retro Catapult or the Foot Clan's Uzi. Much like the former, the Plunger Gun is a brightly colored contraption crudely constructed by Donatello out of whatever he could round up from the rubbish heap. Prior to playtime, we've got to put the Plunger Gun together, and luckily, I have the instructions on how to do so. I don't have the box, but a quick internet search easily turns up all additional spec info we need. To start off, grab the SureGrip Surplus Radial Tires Base, and connect it to the orange water heater part via the tires base slot. Underneath the front of the water heater are two holes, into which you insert the two pegs of the rusty trusty water heater tripod. Onto the back of the water heater, you slide on the comfortable toilet ring seat. Now place the explosive sewer gas launching system with attached barrels on top of the water heater by inserting the system's two nubs into the corresponding hole and slot on the water heater. All that's left now are the twin turtle shields, which you slide onto the system's side projections and the Footfinder Telescope with crosshairs, which you insert into the two holes on top of the system. You're now ready to take aim with your toilet plungers. So here we are with our assembled double barrel plunger gun. Visually, it fits right in with all the other garishly colored gear from the first Turtles toy line. It also has the humorous appeal of the fact that it launches a pair of plumber's helpers as opposed to more perilous projectiles like missiles or cannonballs. To propel the plungers, place a turtle of your picking into the comfortable toilet seat ring and strap them in with the turtle safety belt. Then, point the plunger gun at a target, pull back on one of the flush launcher strings, and watch the plunger kind of pop out a bit. I don't know if it was a safety regulation or what, but sadly, the plungers do not actually detach. They just kind of punch. I guess I can see the usefulness if you need something like a battering ram to breach the bad guy's base, but as field artillery, it doesn't seem all that effective. I mean, what are the turtles going to do? Taunt their enemies and just hope they get so miffed that they come running up to the barrels? Who would be dumb enough for that? Okay, but who else would be dumb enough for that? Well, even though the double barrel plunger gun would be way more wicked if it actually worked the way it should, it still makes for an okay display piece. It surely doesn't appear out of its element alongside other TMNT items. It's not the most radical of retro turtle toys, but I still think it deserves its few minutes in the spotlight. So what are your thoughts on the double barrel plunger gun? Visit www.radicalretro.com right now, sign up for the forums, and speak your mind. Radical Retro Turtle Toy Talk is part of the Pop Culture Network, which is home to a slew of shui shows, podcasts, and written series covering other toy lines, TV and film, wrestling, comics, and everything else you love. Pop Culture Network also has its very own store that has tons of sweet stuff in stock that you know you've just gotta have. Plus, any and all purchases you make help keep the Pop Culture Network going and growing. Thanks for joining me for a look at the Double Barrel Plunger Gun, and I hope you'll come back next week for more Radical Retro Turtle Toy Talk. Stay rad, friends.